KCAL News Mornings. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, July 8th. Welcome to KCAL News at 7 on CBS and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Rachel Kim. And I'm Sheba Turk. Let's start off with a check of your next weather. Meteorologist Alex Biston looking at that weekend forecast for us. What do we have in store, Alex? Hi, Rachel and Sheba. Enjoy the weekend. It's going to be beautiful. We've got a wide range in temperatures, but it's going to get hotter from here as we are talking about uh, triple digit heat returning to many of our inland spots. And not only will it's not just going to be a day, it's not going to be two days. It's going to be a prolonged period of heat that we are talking about. So uh, the quote unquote cooler temperatures, enjoy them now. Uh, we are looking live over downtown Los Angeles. A gray start to the day. Many areas from the coast to the valley seeing the clouds, but I do expect most of the clouds to filter out as we head through the next few hours. Riverside across the Inland Empire waking up to a cloudy sky. Temperatures in the upper 50s. Winds are calm. I don't have any advisories or warnings to tell you about this morning. Uh, so this weekend, temperatures is a few degrees below average across downtown uh, average being around 81 degrees. So today we will feel upper 70s and very similar conditions as we head into Sunday. It's had warmer by Sunday. Now things are going to change and the gears will be turning as far as this area of high pressure that is going to expand over Southern California. So we do have an excessive heat watch. This is potentially going to turn into a warning as we head toward Tuesday. So this watch in effect on Tuesday and continuing as you can see uh, through Friday even into Sunday across some spots. So inland areas get ready for the heat. We'll talk about just how hot it is expected to get. We'll show you and break down the seven day forecast coming up after the break. For now, Rachel and Sheba we will send it back to you. All right, thank you, Alex. There is a lot going on in your world today. Here are some of the major stories we're following. Four people are in critical condition after a two car crash in Woodland Hills. We're live with the details. And an illegal RV park for the homeless operating right in the middle of a Southland neighborhood. What the city is doing to clean it up. Why fans are throwing things at artists on stage, the dangerous concert trend, and what if, if anything, can be done to stop it. We want to start by telling you about some breaking news just into our newsroom. Six people were on board a business jet that just crashed near Murrieta. Cal Fire says the Cessna business jet went down around 4.15 this morning. The plane was flying from Las Vegas to the French Valley Airport. At this point, no word on who was on board. We do have crews on the way and we'll have a live report as soon as we can. Well, four people are in critical condition this morning after a high-speed crash in Woodland Hills. Firefighters had to cut two people out of each car. KKL News reporter Rick Montanez is live in Woodland Hills with the latest. Rick? And good morning. You know, the wreckage is gone from those two vehicles, but there is still a lot of damage out here. You can see where the car actually, one of them, uh, sheared off a fire hydrant, and you see some of the tire marks there from where it came up the curb and hit a bush. And then behind me over here, you see a lot of the wreckage from a damaged sign and some tire tracks here in the street. We also have obtained some cell phone video that shows some of the frantic rescue efforts. This guy got hit. We pulled up while the streets flooded. Must hit a fire hydrant. Everyone was trying to get him out. They just pulled up. I think Jaws of Life, they're trying to get him out. There's two men in the silver sedan. They got hit. This guy ran a red light. So you can see the fire hydrant shooting water into the air as crews work to rescue those four trapped people, two in each car involved. This brutal crash happened just before 11 last night here at Owens Mouth and Irwin Street. The L.A. Fire Department says it took time to get all four victims out. And considering the speed at the moment of impact, all of the injuries are classified as critical. This morning, it's not clear if both drivers were speeding, but witnesses in that video said the van or SUV that... Uh, possibly ran the red light, striking a silver sedan. As for the people in that car, we know one of them was a man. The other three were not sure of their ages or genders just yet. We're working with LAFD trying to get an update on that. As for the cause of the crash, police documented everything out here before clearing the scene, and they continue that investigation. Reporting live in Woodland Hills, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. Rick, thank you so much. Neighbors say it is dirty and disgusting. SkyCal shows several RVs in a backyard compound and even a toilet out on the ground in the Silmar neighborhood. Formerly homeless residents.